Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you my foot transformation. This is how I make my feet soft and pretty and mm, maybe better looking than what they look like right now. I had a pedicure a couple weeks ago and it wasn't very good so it kind of inspired me to like start doing my own. I thought I would start with hair removal. This is not something a lot of people are going to show in a pedicure but I think it's pretty important to remove any hairs if you have any on your feet. Mine aren't really visible on camera but I can see them in real life and that's enough for me to want to remove them. Using a wax kit I have at home I'm going to take some hot wax and put it onto any areas where there's little hairs. Then I'm going to take some muslin paper and just rip it off until it's completely gone. This is really simple and easy to do and I thought I would include it just in case you guys have ever wondered about removing hair on your feet. I have a little bit of natural nail polish remover. I love this stuff because it's acetone free. So I'm going to take off my nail polish and reveal my yellow toenails. Yes, I have nail polish on all the time so they are really yellow and it's not adding to the cause of my feet looking not very pretty. I'm going to pop them into this foot bath. This is very relaxing. It's got bubbles obviously. So I'm going to add a little bit of shower gel for a little bit more of a soothing, bubbly relaxation. And once my feet have softened up, we can start working on them. The reason you don't want to skip this step of soaking your feet in warm water is because it makes it so much easier to push your cuticles back. I'm using a cuticle pusher and this is stainless steel so it's really easy to work with and I'm pushing my cuticles back really gently. I'm not trying to push them back very far but I'm really working on scraping all of that white stuff off of my nails. Using a cuticle stick, I'm going to go underneath the nail and remove any dirt. And let's be honest, when you're wearing nail polish, it's really difficult to see if there's any dirt under there. So this is a very important step. I'm going to follow up by using a toothbrush I only use on my feet. And this is going to remove any extra dirt and make sure that they're nice and clean. I think cuticle trimmers are a little bit aggressive for every single person, but if you have extra skin hanging off, hangnails, anything like that, take these little guys and just remove them because it's going to cause more of a problem in the long run if you leave them. Now I'm going to trim my nails and I'm just trimming them straight across. I'm going to be filing them to get a better shape and I'll show you how I do that in a second. This is important to do when your foot is dry. I think you just get a better result. I'm using this little pumice and it's handheld so it's easy to use. There's two sides, one's firmer and one's a little bit more soft. I'm gonna just brush this along the balls of my feet, the heels, anywhere where it gets really abrasive and kind of dry and rough. This is gonna soften your feet and make them feel super amazing and light. I'm gonna file my nails to create a smoother shape because using just the cutters alone is just too jagged so I'm going to go in one direction with my file. If you didn't know, going back and forth can create really jagged nails that split easily so that could be your problem if you're noticing that your nails break a lot. Your nails are cross-hatched, well at least the fibers of them are, so it's really important to go in one direction to seal the nail. Let's make a DIY scrub because it's cheaper, it's got no chemicals in it, and it's so much better for the feet. This is a really nourishing mix of sea salt and olive oil. I like this because it feels really nice and moisturizing, but it still really gets all of that dead skin off and your feet feel so tingly and nice. I'm going to rub this into my feet and really focus on massaging them. They never get enough love, so this is a great time to just really pamper yourself and massage until your feet feel nice and tingly. Now my feet are super soft and they're ready for polish. I'm going to take one of them out and dry it off, then put some toe separators in between. And if you don't have any of these, don't worry about it. Just use like toilet paper or paper towel. To make the pedicure last longer, I'm going to apply a base coat. This is also supposed to protect against stains, but my toes are still yellow, so I don't really think base coat works like that. I wanted to try an on-camera experiment just see if this works because I usually use liquid latex for my fingernails when I'm painting them. It's a really easy peel-off tool that you can use when you're not very good at painting your nails. So it's great for your left hand and I thought I would try it out on the toes. I'm applying two layers of nail polish. I'm going to list all of the products below so you guys can see what I'm using. And then I'm going to take my favorite top coat and apply this to my nails. It's fast drying so I don't have to worry about uh, waiting too long. It's like maybe going to take like four minutes or so. 
once that's dry I'm gonna peel off the liquid latex and we'll see how that worked didn't really seem to be the best thing for me like I think it's just better to just try and stay inside the lines because it kind of peeled up some of the nail polish which wasn't my favorite so for the next foot <laughs> I just completely skipped it I also skipped this really important step I always take a q-tip and I remove all of the oil from the nail this is very important since we just use an oil-based scrub and it's going to help the nail polish stay on so much better. Once I've waited for my nails to dry, I'm going to finish up with this last step. I'm using Pink Peppermint from Lush. It's a foot cream and I highly recommend using natural products on your feet. This is one of the most absorbent areas of the body, so I find it really important to use natural products, not just on the feet, but everywhere, especially on the feet. Okay? Okay. That's the final result. I hope you guys enjoyed this. My feet are nice and soft. They're pretty, they're sandal ready, and I really hope you guys enjoyed this transformation. Thank you so much for watching, and please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Uh, I love you guys, and I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching.